all this be is the same story, just a different person, man. So we got another rapper dead, right? YBC Duel. Or Duel, however you say his name. And this dude just literally chased death to me. Before we get into this video, y'all make sure y'all hit the like button to subscribe to the channel. So just yesterday, a Philly rapper um, was doing a stream. He was walking in the streets with a YouTuber, I guess. Um, and he said this. Depends where you hitting, man. I ain't get hit yet. You were watching hit, you Talk hit Media. Gumball? Yeah, got by Gumballet. You never been hit? Yeah, I ain't get hit yet. And how many times have you been doing the hit? We've been doing this for He overcooked. So as y'all can see, the dude just less than 24 hours ago was bragging about how he never got shot. Was bragging about how him and his homies doing all the shooting and all this, right? But y'all seen the, 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 the label that he got, Mr. Disrespectful, right? So it does not stop there. It continues. He crib right there, bro. That they begin clapped on it. Q Rizzy and all them niggas, them niggas from right there, bro. The nigga that's in the car over there right now, my man Waters clapped him. He told him he can't bust no traps. Bro, only reason why he parked out here cause Waters not out here right now, bro. Well all he you hear this dude. Talk about how one of his ops in the car, but why you ain't clapping? So I'm starting to see what type of dude this dude really is. It'll get worse. That's how we coming. We in the trenches, like we in Philly, I'm outside. And besides that, they also got a uh, different type of dogs on them. <laughs> Just to clarify, those are legal firearms. Legally obtained, legally owned firearms. Illegal firearm. Illegal firearm. So if y'all can see, this dude wanted to clout so bad. Not only did he snitch on himself, snitch on this game, he's showing firearms talking about they're illegal. After the podcast dude, the interviewer dude, tried to say that it was legal. So you ain't just chasing jail, you chasing death, both of them, and it get worse. Fuck all the ops, fuck CCK, fuck LMG, fuck 56th Street, fuck, fuck Belmont, y'all never got back, fuck, Damn! fuck, no, nah, 44 CB taming y'all, look, fuck 38th Street, fuck 38th Street, I ain't even gonna lie, fuck the dub too. And, um, who else? I ain't gonna lie, it's been anymore. Fuck Collar Hill. Fuck Parkside. Fuck Bud. Blow for Bud. Fuck all them niggas. Fuck, I right, is the real disrespectful. I'm gonna fuck who you is. I will disrespect you. Y'all start to see a pattern here. A little pattern. This is an old clip of him when he went on No Jumper. Notice what's going on, too. No Jumper, Adam22. The interviewer. Y'all see what's going on? But we can't blame them, but do y'all see what's going on? Obviously, this Mr. Disrespect title that he got, that he earned by the fans, went to this boy head to the point where he felt like anywhere he went, he was going to bring light to him. Now, on one side, that's cloud chasing like a mug. And on the other side, it's it's the literal definition of, boy, your days is numbered. You feel what I'm saying? Because you said F all these dudes, it's going to get, now not my job. The first clips was just 24 hours ago under that. This wasn't too long ago neither. Then another clip of this dude, disrespecting the dude that got shot like 70-something times. Popped up. Now, as y'all can see, it says YBC Duel, because his name is Abdul, trolls an op who got hit 76 times. So he trolled the dude last year who got hit 76 times. I guess his name Day Day or Dada. I mean, the internet and the streets do not mix, bro. I bet y'all like, how did we get here though, AK? Who is this dude? Why is everybody calling him Mr. Disrespectful and all this? We gonna get to that in a minute. One, I wanna give a little quick message though. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Um, Y'all see the path he was going. Um, Ignorance, stupidity, dumb, the influence of social media. 
I tell y'all all the time, this is somebody in the streets. That's one thing. Going to these big platforms and broadcasting and disrespecting somebody and trying to embarrass them in front of people, in front of the world, on the internet, it takes everything to a whole nother level. Now, let's show how this boy got here because it's hardly other clips than that. This is how the world began to know him. I remember this came across my table about five months ago and I made a brief reference to it because a lot of people in, in, in Philly, yo, AK, I want you to uh, 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 interview or, or react to my Philly bull, man. He, he going up, he going up. And I said, it's clown. You see what I'm saying? That's a clown. I don't, like, I, it doesn't tickle my fancy. It does not pause. It does not, you know what I mean? This is how this dude got big, got his name, and got his notoriety from doing this. Now, as y'all can see, he releases a music video, and it's called How to Step. And this man actually went to one of his ops graveyards and dug it up. Now, what the hell he thought he was going to do, I don't know, because ain't no way you getting that casket up off the ground. Um, So it looked like to me, he just was digging up dirt at a goddamn funeral. I mean, a uh, uh, cemetery. But how he put it and how the world took it, he went to his ops grave site and dug it up, bro. And as you can see, he did a half a million views off that. And that video is his demise. I don't care what nobody talking about. See, he was going extra harder after that video. He seen, oh my God, half a million views. The clock got to his head. He thought he was untouchable. Let me tell y'all something in the streets, man. Ain't nobody untouchable, bro. I don't care if you got one body, nobody's ten bodies. Your ass can die. I don't care if you think you roll with the deepest and deepest of gangs and the strongest and strongest of crews. Your ass can die. And that's what happened to this dude, man. And then his people on his side talk about rest in peace. Ain't no rest in peace for no boy like this, man. Let's keep it 100 here. He begged for it. He asked for it. And he got it. Ain't no rest in peace, man. Why do we do this? It's a shame and it's disgusting. It is, man. And I keep telling y'all, dudes like him, 25 years old. People talk about that's young. It's old enough to know. It's old enough, man. There ain't no 15 year old boy. Stop no 19 year old, 18, 16, 14, 13, 25, man. Running around here, acting like he a kid. Coined the man, name Mr. Disrespectful, doing all this shit, literally begging, hey, police, come arrest me. Hey, you guys, come kill me. Doing all this internet shit and got what he asked for. And all we got to say is RIP. And it's actually people saying justice for duel. Justice for duel? <sighs> Let me know in the comment section how y'all feel about this video, man. King AK47, Voice of the Streets. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Make sure y'all share this video, man. I'm going to do a live stream. Uh... In a few hours, man. So it might be early more than time. We're going to cover this in some more topics. But I want to know how y'all feel about this case right here. You might be about that life. But life ain't about that.